When free agency started, I was for sure, for sure, thinking when Patrick Queen was let go, the premier destination for him would be Seattle. And with Seattle letting go, well, not necessarily letting go, but getting rid of or letting guys walk. Both of their interior linebackers. The, the savvy vet, Bobby Wagner, the young guy who was drafted uh, in the same year as Patrick Queen, um, Jordan Brooks. I just knew Patrick Queen was destined to go to Seattle, especially with his familiarity with Mike McDonald. Well, free agency is a funny thing, and that didn't happen. And so during this free agent period, you know, Seattle ended up picking up Jerome Baker. Uh, inside linebacker from Miami. And in, in a sense, Miami and Seattle pretty much flip-flopped inside linebackers. And so I really wanted to just come to you and sh- kind of give you a little glimpse of um, what Seattle is getting out of Jerome Baker and how it kind of fits what Mike McDonald does since I have a little bit of um, familiarity with what Mike likes to do. And I got about four or five plays from Jerome versus the Jets, which is one of his better games from last year before he got injured toward the end. And he did come back, though. There wasn't anything that, you know, should hinder what he's doing this year. Um, And let's kind of see and kind of talk about how it fits what he did versus the Jets and how it'll fit versus what Mike McDonald will ask him to do. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Jerome Baker will play the Roquan Smith role for Seattle Seahawks. Now, with that being said, let's run through these four or five clips and let's get to it. He's number 55, sitting right there in the middle. And so really what I take out of this is you got a guy that's just going to run to the football. You need a guy that can sift through offensive linemen and really what I'm, what I'm taking from this is, as he goes in this direction, just watch the subtle shoulder movement to avoid this block. And yes, this guy gets five or six yards, but once this guard turns his attention toward Baker, watch him just dip the shoulder to get around it and still go track the, the ball carrier down. See if I can slow motion it for you. That little subtle dip right there, which makes the, the offensive lineman whip. Whiff, sorry, whiff. That subtle little dip right there. That makes him avoid the lineman completely. Stuff like that. A little nuanced stuff. He never breaks stride, but that subtle, that little subtle dip in the shoulder, which allows him not to be blocked. And now he can still just hunt the hunt the running back down. And like I said, yeah, the running back gets yardage, but again, had Baker not completely make the lineman whiff, that's more yardage. He's pretty much down to tackle by himself. Until right there at the end. Just a little subtle tease right there to, you know, to see what you're getting out of a guy. And a lot of people may miss that. But just a little subtle stuff like that. It shows you what kind of player he is. What kind of little savvy veteran he is. What you're getting out of him. Let's go to the second play I have for you. And anytime you see this view, it's coverage. Look at the coverage now. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying this guy right here. That's Garrett Wilson. That's Garrett Wilson. This is Jerome Baker. He jumps inside and takes away anything inside. So all he got is, if it's an option route, all he has is the outside option. And when he does it, when he breaks outside, he attacks. And so, yeah, Garrett Wilson catches the ball, but for a little to minimal gain. For little to minimal gain. And that's what you get a guy in pass coverage. They go empty, you know, he can stay on the field. And defend. Or they go something, you know, four wide, you don't have to take him off the field. That's going to be big. Get an every down linebacker right there. An every down linebacker. Let's go to the third play I have for you. Okay, in the middle of your screen right there. 
Now, Mike's going to do a lot of disguising, a lot of disguising. And right now you got, what, five guys simulating their coming? Baker being one of those guys? He drops out, covers your back. Drops out and covers your back. Mike does a lot of simulated pressures. Baker's going to fall right in there and be just as good as some of the other linebackers that Mike had last year. We're doing that. Stepped up into that. What gap is that? That's the B gap. Falls out. Guards the back. Brees Hall makes a catch. Gets no extra yardage. Great job of disguising and a great job of covering. Again, a guy that you can have out there every down. Every down linebacker. Play four. Again, when you see this angle, you know it has to do with pass coverage. Again, that's Garrett Wilson again. This is one of the premier receivers in the NFL now. This guy was rookie of the year. So he's guard. Again. Wilson getting him all these kind of moves. Baker just basically pretty much locking in on that midpoint. Don't go for it. And when he actually breaks, he goes with him. Now, at this point, Wilson has an advantage because he's a, you know, a lot faster than him, but he stays with it. Stays with it. And Wilson doesn't catch it clean, bats it out of there for incompletion. Any little advantage that he can take advantage of, he did. Because Wilson didn't catch it clean, he knocked it out of there. And a good job of not going for all that extra wiggle wiggle that Wilson was trying to give him. He stayed true to his, his technique. Good job. Good job. And again, you don't have to take him off the field, man. Or every down backer. And I got one more I want to show you. One more play I want to show you from this game. See him right here behind Van, Van Ginko on the right side of your screen. Oh, my bad. Right side of your screen right there. Hey, make plays on the ball. Anytime the ball is in the air, it's yours. Go get it. Tip drill. Anytime the ball is in the air, it is yours. Go get it. Go get it. No matter how you catch it, catch it. Anytime the defender can get his hands on the ball, that ups your chances, win, chances of winning the game. So anytime you can get your hands on the ball, go get it, whether it be fumble, uh, tip pass, interception, strip sack, whatever, whatever. This is going to be the guy that's going to be the center of your defense, Seattle. Jerome Baker, formerly of the Miami Dolphins, now of the Seattle Seahawks. Um, He's going to be in a great scheme with Mike McDonald's scheme. He has all the tools to do all the things that Mike's going to ask. So it's up to him to have a good running mate, to learn the system. And you got a good guy. You got a good guy in front. You got some good guys behind. I think you got the makings to have a pretty good defense in Seattle. They just got to put it all together. So this is Coach Evans with more of the tally. A uh, little film study on Jerome Baker and how he fits into Mike McDonald's defense. Uh, hit that like button if you have not. Hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. And comment on what you think about Jerome Baker going to Seattle and any other free agent moves that the Seahawks have made. And I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace and love.